Well, I want to fax to Mars, and I had a few things to say about mar sellers on Marketplace. Now, most of them are pretty specific about what we're selling. Many of them are specific, many of them aren't. I get this all the time where you have these descriptions and they don't describe the product. That's one problem that we have that's big time on Marketplace. And so you sellers really need to correct that. I'm sure if you uh, try, you can find, you know, another place to explain this. Now, having said that, what you're seeing is one of the two items that I got ripped off on, on Marketplace. This thing, this was clear, this is clearly false advertising. Uh, sp tween spring sleeveless dress. It's made for toddlers. It's not made for teens. I'm uh, prepping for episode 9 of Mars Station and I need some uh, girls dresses for one of the scenes. It's going to be an interesting one. But anyway, there you have... This was false advertising on this one. But there's a bigger issue here besides this. And we're going to take a look at a, some apparel. They got warning ahead of time there may be some R-rated stuff. Because uh, I have my settings up full. And it is allowed. So we're going to try to bring up apparel. Because I want to make a point here. If it ever comes up. There we go. Now, in Second Life you have what's known as a classic avatar. A classic shape. That's easily modifiable. You can change it. You can tweak it. But look at this. A veil Nelly. Fit a mess dress. Matreya, Beleza, Slink, TMP, Fit Mesh, HUD Color, Tropic, Summer Fun. Everything except for standard stuff that fits the standard uh, shape on Second Life. And this has gotten out of the hand because most of us don't even know what this stuff is. I took the time to research this, and this is what I found. And the late things and stuff, uh, this kind of explains what's going on. They create essentially a false, uh, body, and then you can put clothes that fit the false body on it. The slink and matreya and so on, so on and so forth. But I have news for you sellers, not everybody uses that stuff. I use some of the, uh mesh stuff uh, myself because I've learned how to tweak the avatar the avatar shape, the standard shape that comes with Second Life. I've learned how to tweak that so that uh, it doesn't show through. Because what usually winds up happening is your standard Second Life Avatar will have little patches where it shows through. I've eliminated much of that simply by tweaking different parameters. But you really need to do more marketing to those of us who don't use uh, all this fancy, fancy pants stuff. To me, it looks expensive. And I'm not talking in Linden dollars. I'm talking in American dollars. To me, it looks expensive, but even if it wasn't, I wouldn't bother with it because you can't adjust it. Not to my knowledge. I don't know how, how you even do this. You know, if you have a program to do it, and you adjust your shape, and then you upload it, and then you're what, paying $10, uh, $10 Linden, not $10 American, $10 Linden, to upload it. How's that fair? Now, listen. 
So uh, what I would suggest to you folks on Marketplace is, you know, you need to do some marketing to those of us who don't really care for this, aren't going to buy this Maitreya and all this, because us old-timers don't want to hear this stuff, many of us. I'm sure there are a lot of old-timers that have embraced this, but there's many of us who haven't. And you're only hearing yourselves if you don't market to us. This is the point. Here's another one. Cool looking dress. Matreya, Slink, Physique, Hourglass, Beleza, Freya, Isis, Venus. But I wouldn't dare buy it because I don't know whether it would fit. I think this is fitted mesh. Um, from what I read on the blog, you can adjust that to an extent. I didn't know this before I read this blog. So, you know, here's kind of fair warning to you. By marketing only that stuff and not some standard stuff for us old timers, you're losing, you're losing revenue because you're not going to get the sales. When I see this, Matreus, Link, Beleza, here's exactly what happens every time. Unless I'm absolutely certain it'll fit. And after being stung by that uh, other person, I'm going to be a thousand times more careful. She was complete. She expected me to apologize to her for being ripped off. I can't believe that. That is crust like you cannot believe. That is just unbelievable crust. She was offended because I was angry because I got ripped off. Because the avatar was for the dress. Is for toddlers, not for uh, teens. And it says quite clearly here, tween, spring, sleeveless dress. And then she gave me some nonsense about fitting uh, Tashi tween avatar, whatever that is, I'm not interested. It's got to fit the uh, standard, normal, everyday Second Life Avatar, as far as I'm concerned, or I'm not interested. Period. Then the subject. So, my advice to you, by all means, do start marketing a little to those of us who aren't going to touch this stuff, because you're losing revenue. This is the point here. And avoid false advertising like this. I mean, if it's not going to fit a standard, ordinary, normal, Second Life Avatar, state it clearly in red, right across there. This will not fit standard avatars. Boom, I'm out of there. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Until my next rant, have a nice day.